Welcome to our short video tutorial on the Subversion integration with CodeBeamer. Today we will learn what is Subversion or SVN for short, how to create a repository in CodeBeamer and how to set permissions, how to import a dump file from your previous repository, how to check out and how to do changes and commit them back to your repository. Alright, what is Subversion? Subversion is an open source version control system that was originally founded by Colabnet. Subversion works as a follow-up to the older CVS. And from 2004 till now, Subversion is an Apache project. Subversion is able to handle directories and metadata as well as locking for binary files. So let's get started. Within CodeBeamer, we have our source code management repositories tab. Over here, we can manage all our repositories within a project. We want to work with Subversion, so we're going to create a new Subversion repository. CodeBeamer is also able to handle Git, Mercurial and CVS repositories. You can set up a new repository within CodeBeamer or use an existing external one. We want to create a new one, but we want to import some code from our previous repository from a dump file. Let's give the repository a meaningful name. We're going to be developing a new firmware for our device. Let's call it firmware, locate the dump file, import it into CodeBeamer, and give the repository a short description. Click on finish and import dump file and create a repository. Repository is being created and the size will be about 100 kilobytes, so it's pretty small. When the repository is finished, we have several tabs we can choose from. For instance, changes. This is where all the previous changes from the old repositories are being imported from the dump file. So you can see the history, who worked on it, and the timestamp, and even the diffs. In the files tab we can browse the files that have already been added to our dump file. From the permissions tab we can set permission for each and every role that we've created within our project. So for instance, the developer should also be able to create top level repositories, so we grant him the appropriate permission. From the Notifications tab, we can choose who should be informed whenever a change to the repository occurs. And the Statistics tab tells us how much work has been done within the last couple of days. As this is a new project and a new repository, no work has been done yet. So let's do a checkout and add some changes to our repository. First of all, we're going to copy the URL into our clipboard. For this demo, I'm going to be using the SVNX client for macOS. Add my new repository, give it a name, it's also going to be firmware, paste the URL and add my username and password. Same as in CodeBeamer. Double click on the URL, will open up my repository and you can see the previous revisions that were imported from our dump file. Let's check out a folder we take the drunk folder and check it out to our hard drive. Select the destination, let's create a new folder. It's going to be called firmware. And check out there. This is going to be our working copy. We have to insert our credentials. We can open up our working copy. As you can see, nothing happened there so far, so we're going to add some source code. Go into our text editor and add some code. We wrote a lot of source code, so we can save it into our new working copy. Select the folder, give it a name and save. Within our working copy, when we refresh, we can see 
that our code RTF has been added to this directory. Of course, we have to add it to our repository. Click on Add. Yes, I want to add it. And the file has been added to our repository. Last thing we have to do is to commit to our central repository into CodeBeamer. Let's click on Commit. The important commit message. And send it to CodeBeamer. Okay, our commit is finished. Let's go to CodeBeamer and see what happened. We go to our changes tab and we can see that developer, that is me, has added a new file to a trunk and comment was new code file. Let's see where the file is. Go to our files tab, go to our trunk folder. We can already see that some changes have been done and within our trunk folder we will find our code RTF file. Here it is. You can see it's revision 10. So we want to do some changes and see what happens. Go back to our finder, open up our code file and add some more code. We save it. Jump into our working copy. Refresh. We can see, oh, some changes have been done to code RTF. All right, let's commit them. <coughs> New code done. Commit. Commit is finished. Let's see what happened in CodeBeamer. Go to Changes. We can see our change. And also the diff. When I click on here, I can see that I added a new line of code, which is shown in green. When we go to the file section, go to our trunk directory, and we can see that our code RTF is now in revision 11. From the log, we can jump back to previous version and see what status they were in like a minute ago. Let's check version 10. This is a lot of source code and the current version is 11. Let's see what this one says. This is a lot of source code and a new line of code. So you can see for your traceability you can jump back anytime and of course you can draw a baseline about all your work items within that project. This concludes our short tutorial on the subversion integration. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd like to welcome you back on another tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye. Please find more information, other interesting videos and a free trial version of CodeBeamer on our website www.indland.com.